Natasha Ednan Laparouz didn't survive her severe food allergy. The 15-year-old went into anaphylactic shock after eating a sesame seed baked into a baguette. Her parents have always hoped her death would mean a change in the law, and today they got their wish, something they say Natasha would have been thrilled about. She'd be punching the air yeah. with um, every kind of victory that we've had, and this would be the biggest punch. Yes. She'd be over the moon, yeah. absolutely. She's looking down from heaven now, watching this interview and saying, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Tanya and Nadim have fought hard to get the government to change the way packaged sandwiches are labelled. Breton Manger was the first to list full ingredients. Now in two years' time, all outlets that make and sell prepackaged food on site will have to do the same. The news comes on the day they launched a charity in their daughter's name. The Duchess of York is a patron, having shared an emotional flight with the family as they brought Natasha's body home. I just said, how can I help, I, please? And they said, well, you know, very sorry to let you know, but our daughter Natasha's in a coffin under the seat, uh, in the hold under the seat that we're sitting on right now. And I, I, as a mother, I just went reeling back and Beatrice and Eugenie and I thought, Heavens, what's Tanya and Nadim thinking? It is also a personal mission for the Duchess to support allergy research, which she hopes could lead to a cure. My uncle, aged 10, uh, died of a, um, of a uh, crab sandwich at Brankster Beach. And my father was never the same after that. And my grandmother never forgot John. He was called John. Mm. So a very personal thing for you yes, as well? Yes, yeah, very personal. Mm. But I, 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 Natasha's my person. Her smiling face on the flight to France belies the trauma that was about to play out. But it is a tragedy Natasha's parents now hope to turn into a lasting legacy. Emily Morgan, ITV News.